today is going to be another hair styling type video. I'm gonna come with me while I style my hair, and the hair that we are working with today is from the Doula Hair. Um, it is this beautiful, I think it's like 24 inch unit. So I wanna say it's 24 inches. First off, I wanna talk about the fullness of this unit because baby, I had to do some work in it. I've already cut my lace off. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly um, secure my unit, wrap my band around it so that way I can figure out how I'm gonna style it. Uh, I wanted to do an updo, but I'm just like realistically because there's not a lot of space right here. And for my units, I always use um, the bed head. So that's what I'm gonna use really quickly. So my first steps, I like to clip my hair back just so that way I have a clean work area. Um, I try to keep the hairs out of the way, especially when I know I'm gonna lay it. Um, and this just keeps a fresh looking hairline. I am gonna go in and pluck it a little bit more. I did plug it off on a mannequin but I noticed that once I put the unit on it was still too full for me and so I'm just going to go in a little bit I will have a detailed video coming soon in regards to my plucking because honestly you could not see what I was doing um, and I typically block the camera when I am doing this step so I try to do it on a mannequin um, I'll show you guys when I do it detail so that way you guys can see I usually when I pluck, I definitely make sure to take my time. Um, it typically takes me about 30 minutes to an hour um, per unit uh, because I like to take my time and not over pluck. Um, so once I got that out the way, I like to take my hot comb just to comb everything out to see how everything will lay. Uh, I'm quickly going to go ahead and add my adhesive. I already put down the spray that I use. Um, a lot of you guys say that it does not have a shine. It definitely depends on the unit, but if you find that your unit, when you spray it, um, it has a shine on it, um, you can take a little bit of powder to take that shine away. So I'm gonna quickly lay this unit. Um, honestly, this was one of the quickest units that I have laid. Um, I will say one of the things that I love about HD Lace, it is super, super thin and fine. Um, and it doesn't require a lot of adhesive and it stays. Um, I literally will lay about one or two layers of spray. Um, I do spray my underneath and then I'll take it and spray on top of the lace. For me, this personally works the best, especially like around my ear tabs um, because I do have sideburns and stuff and that just grows back. Um, so if I want to get a nice wear out of the unit, um, but also keep in mind, I am only wearing my units for a day wear. I take my units on and off each night. Um, so my securing my units is not going to be for someone who is, if you are one of those people that like to wear your units for a week at a time, you are going to want to look into different hair glues, um, any, um, different hair adhesives that's going to last you longer. So like I mentioned, um, this unit is a HD lace. Y'all see the mail, like this is without even me laying a band on it. It looks really, really good. Um, I wanted to take a second and just show you guys the different types of lace. I know I always speak of HD. HD is a lot thinner, it's a lot smoother. Um, and you can actually um, see less of it. If you notice like your traditional lace is going to be, it's gonna be a lot thicker. Um, you're gonna notice that sometimes it'll come in different colors um, as your, I'm um, sorry, not non-traditional, which is like your HD, your transparent. Honestly, HD and transparent are pretty similar. One may be a slightly thinner than the other, but they are quite the same. Um, I think it's a great advertisement point, but anything that is HD, anything that is transparent, that is going to disappear for you a lot more um, and blend. Now, when I say blend, that still means that you have to put the work in as far as still adding some foundation and tinting your lace. But as far as your melt, it is going to melt into your skin with minimal effort. And that's honestly what we're going for. We want to slay, but we want to slay with minimal effort. <laughs>
with you guys so this is it you guys y'all see that volume y'all see that shine i didn't add anything for the shine this is how the hair came the luster of it and y'all see that hairline done i hope you all enjoyed this quick hair tutorial i hope i taught you how to curl your hair so we're trying to get some long results at home and that is the goal honestly i always say even if you do go get your hair done you should be able to maintain your hair at least and um, by that i mean like maintain it in between stylists like in between you going to your appointments and things like that um and it just helps so that way you can keep it up you can continue to look good and i feel like always looking good makes you feel good i haven't put on a good face and some hair in probably like two weeks honestly maybe a week and a half um, and if it helps, it definitely helps. There's usually a coupon code down below as well for those of you who check out this hair. Definitely shop Nadula hair. Um, I will say the hair is super, super full. I wanted to keep it clean hairline this time because I'm always giving you guys baby hair realness. Um, and for those who are not into baby hairs, I think this is a great unit for you. But honestly, you don't have to um, add baby hairs to every unit. And I feel like because it's so full, um, and I just didn't want to do it for this one. I just wanted to do something that was sleek, something that was wearable, something that the girls really like. Um, and for those who don't want to do the baby hairs and want to keep it really, really natural, I think this is for you.